how to use retool to make a mobile internal app in this video i'm going to show you around retool a powerful uh, web-based application maker and they offer a no code solution so you can actually make a native web app or mobile app without having to code a single line however if you're a developer and you feel like you want to still have more flexibility in your program by coding you can also do that so as you can see i am now in my retool dashboard however if you're new to retool just go to uh, retool.com and uh, log in create your domain like i have here and when you have just logged in you will be prompted to your first app you just go ahead and go to the home button and this is where you will end up okay to start retool have a few uh, menu here now the first one being the apps menu which lists down your apps and the second is resources now resources are the resources uh, that you can use to access or manipulate inside your app so for example if you are having a storage or inventory management app then you must have a uh, database for those items and you can store it in a retool database which is a form of PostgreSQL or you can make a retool email storage AI or vectors basically this is the back end of your application this is the data that you are manipulating with an app that you make next is the database now the database is where those resources are compiled in and uh, used so for example now I have a sample database over here now this database may be imported from your SQL file or uh, emails and etc and these are used uh, by your app as the data so for example if you have an employee list menu in your app then uh, this database is probably the one that you're uh, using to list down the employees and you can also change the data over here as you can see okay so let's go back and next is the query library so query is used to manipulate those data those resources and you can add the queries so uh, to uh, manipulate the databases that you have so for example uh, we have a retool database resource here maybe and we can choose our actions you can generate text summarize text classify text and etc and after that retool will actually create a coding for you more on that later next is the workflows now workflow is basically it's an automation on again minimal manipulating the database so for example if you are having an app and you want to have notifications in that now you can do that uh, with workflow so for example if uh, the trigger here you can set it to a time trigger as you can see a schedule trigger now if you want to remind the employees of um, filling out their attendance list then you can schedule it at every maybe uh, every 9 a.m the trigger is 9 a.m and the code is maybe uh, add a um, notification code and the output again will be to do a notification in the mobile app now you do need a bit of uh, coding to do this workflow over here but i think this is appropriate if you are ready to scale your business only next is uh, after you've done your workflow you can uh, set it and deploy it you can export it to uh, json for you to integrate into your application now you can either make it a patch a minor or a major deployment depending on the scale okay so for now let's go back to home and explore the other options in the retool uh, website 
Now, the newest one is the forms. This forms is used to add a, sorry, to add a an enterable, uh, like sort of this Google forms, maybe you can say to fill in your data. So you can fill in the data uh, without the app. So for example, you might want to distribute this f form to the incoming interns or the incoming employees that just been accepted to your company, you can do that by just sending out uh, this form. Now, once we've uh, used our resource and table, we can go ahead and click generate form. Now, once we've generated our form, we can go publish it. There you go. By clicking publish form here, you will create your shareable URL that you can uh, share anywhere. Okay, now onto the app itself. So the most exciting part is maybe the app side. So you can add a web app, a mobile app, or you can click create here to uh, explore the other options. You can create a new mobile uh, app, a web app, a create an app from a template or from JSON, from database, from module, now the cool thing about Retool is that even if you are adept in uh, programming and making a web app or a mobile app natively from scratch using codes, you can uh, see previews and do collaborative work with Retool. Okay, moving on. Let's go to the mobile app. And let's say, let's make this app, let's call it uh, Storage Management. So this app is intended to be used by your employees to put in the storage informations in your warehouse, let's say, for example. And Retool has already conveniently, as you can see, uh, made a template that we can explore now. So let's, let's use this inventory management template. Okay, let's see how it goes. Now this is the uh, the main tab of your inventory uh, menu in your app. So for example, this might be the uh, the general view of the um, inventory app. Now you have two options here. So let's go ahead and go to the view, and you can see code on the left. You can either also see, also see code on the right or you can horizontally split the screen for you to edit the codes in. Now, you have a few options here. You can either change the uh, code here. You can edit the code, your SQL database, or you can change the appearances and etc. with the UI. Now, I am not really adapt at coding so I will stick to the uh, GUI menu uh, at this moment. Now as you can see, okay let's go back to the component tree on top left here. Now you can change the title, let's say this is storage. You can do that as well. This is, it, this is a string. You can add interactions. So, for example, if you have, if you want to have a left interaction, maybe you want to make a burger bar here, or uh, at the, but in this uh, particular example, though, you have it on the bottom. If you want to put uh, move it on the on top, of course, you can do that. You can also add right actions over here. Uh, these are all buttons that you typically will have to spend quite some time to program, but Thanks to um, Retool, you can do that at an instant, basically. So you can add event handlers, for example. You can uh, maybe add error handling or maybe add a pop-up. You can also do that, I believe. And next is the profile screen over here. Now, this is the profile screen of the user of your app. You can customize this also. This is the item detail screen. Now, this item detail screen is the screen that we that will be uh, shown 
if we interact on the item collection component previously. So for example, now, as you can see, this is the item detail screen. Now you can make the quantity editable. For example, let's see, uh, you can change the item quantity to uh, editable, I believe, by uh, tinkering around with retool. Furthermore, oh, there you go. You can edit this item. As you can see, this is very convenient for retool to do that. Now you can make the price uneditable so that the uh, the user of this app cannot tamper with your current settings. So they are only there to update the quantity. For example, you can, of course, do that by just simply deleting the uh, change price over there. Now that way, they when they click edit item over here on the top right menu they can only change the quantity and that is pretty much how your app can be edited in retool now if you're ready to uh, share them you can do that by either exporting to json tool script zip or you can ask your employees or your team to review it from their own retool so if we click share here you can you're prompted to uh, enter an email in which you want to share the access to or if you want to test it out yourself you can click go to app this will transport us to the uh, app mockup uh, qr code you can go ahead and scan this code to check it out yourself in the retool app now you do need to install the retool app first to do this from the play store or the um, apple store if you have an apple device and that is pretty much it thank you for watching i hope you have a great time in retool bye